Hello everyone, I'm Sleepy and welcome to week 3 of the 8-Bit Drafts Season 5 LC, which stands for Little Cup League, where we use baby Pokemon. Week 3, let's go. This week we're facing the, uh, Mizokian, or Miscovian, that's how you say it, Miscovian, I think, Sand Slashes. Let me put the team right here, Boop, I'll put uh, his team right there. He's got Abra, Timber, Sancher, Oddish, Archon, Chinchow, Meowth, Honej, Vullaby, Shelmet, Chinchar. Let me uh, explain this team in a nutshell. He's got very offensive threats, and he's got some bulk to it. Like, for example, Abra and Timber, extremely good offensive core. And plus with Vullaby, who can tank hits and hit pretty hard, is, is forget about it. Archon, extremely physical. Oddish can eat hits for days. It's actually, Oddish is a really defensive Pokemon, honestly. If it's not being hit by, like, a fire-type move, of course, or a psychic-type move, it can tank some hits. And can dish out some okay damage. I mean, listen, it's got a higher attack stat than Onyx. So, Oddish, <laughs> don't sleep on Onyx. And basically, yeah, that's his team in a nutshell. He's got some heavy offense and some good defense. Now, let's go over what I'm bringing. I'm recording. Yes, I am. And, all right, we should be good. We should be good. First up, we got Cotton, the Cottony, holding the uh, Eviolite with the Prankster ability, of course. With Dazzling Gleam, Memento, Energy Ball, Defog. Defog and, Mem and Memento basically just for utility options. You know, hazards, get rid of hazards, destroy a Pokemon stats. You already know. Energy Ball and Dazzling Gleam just for stab, you know. It can hit certain Mons on his team, like Volibi, uh, Chinchow. Uh, what else? Uh, boo -boo 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 -boo. And Sand Shrew and stuff like that. Next up, we got Slime, also holding the Eevee Light with the Poison Touch ability with Knock Off. You already know. You already know what Knock Off does. Curse, so I can, like, raise my attack and defense. But it'll, it'll lower my speed, but I don't care about my speed, honestly. Ice Punch, because it, it, it surprisingly hits a lot of mods on his team. Like, for example, uh, he's got Sandshrew, Oddish, uh, and one more. There's one more, I think. No, just Sandshrew and Oddish, but, like... And I can just knock off the rest. And I can Shadow Sneak for priority just in case I want to get one more hit off. Or like, something's at like red HP. Next up, we got Horse, the Ponyta. With hold also holding the Eevee Light with the Flame Body ability. With Flare Bliss to do some heavy damage. Play Rough, you already know. Volibee does not want to take a Play Rough. Let me tell you that right now. Morning Sun to gain back HP and Quick Attack for priority. Next up, we got Ghost, the Mistreatus. With nasty plot to set up, Cobra Berry to eat up like a knockoff from like a Timber or something, uh, or I think Meowth also gets knockoff. Yeah, or Volibee gets knockoff as well. This man's got the knockoff users. I'm not sure if Meowth gets knockoff, but you know, you know, uh, I forgot to look. <laughs> uh, Psychic, you know, for the Timber, Shadow Ball for Stab, and can hit things like the Hone Edge, and that's pretty much it with this thing. Uh, but yeah, it's very defensive. It's a very defensive boy. Very defensive. Next up, we got Pinecone the Ponyta with, this is a very uh, interesting set, Rapid Spin to get out of hazards, Stealth Rock and Spikes to set hazards, and Explosion to go out with a bang. He has no ghost types on his team, well let me check really fast, uh, I lost his team. He does have Hone Edge, but I, I know like this thing gets Earthquake, so I'm not sure like, and I'm not, honestly not sure if he'll bring Hone Edge to the, ma to the match. Because I have Mistrevis, which outspeeds it and can bop it. And I have my boy Slime, who can knock off it. And, uh, yeah, so I'm not sure if Hone Edge is coming, but, you know, we're going to see. We're going to do it. You already know. Next up, we got Gas the Coughing with Corrosive Gas to get rid of items. Max Defense, Max HP, you know, to eat up those physical hits. Memento, you already know, to get in one of these two boys. Uh, next up we got Sludge Wave, because has, Sludge Wave does a bit more damage than Sludge Bomb, which I like. And Flamethrower hit things like the Oddish, and the, uh, what else, Hone Edge. And Shelmet, and also, it can also hit Shelmet. Am I recording? I hopefully I'm recording. Alright, yes I am recording, this is the team, hope you guys are hyped for the match. And, uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's post-com. The match is going to be post-com just because, like, my computer, long matches my computer can't handle. Uh, so when I go back to the States, I'm going to get a new computer. It's going to be epic, but for now, it's, it's, it's post-com for now. But, hope you guys enjoy. See you all in the battle. All right, Boop, we are here in the battle. So, let's get this battle started. 
And also in the later coming weeks, my battles are gonna be live come. I think there's like two more battles after this that are post come. Yeah, I think one or two, I forgot. But here we go, let's go. So first I lead a home. Let me uh, put this to, uh, I think, slow. All right, so first I lead off with coffee. He leads off with arch and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna corrosive gas something. Something's getting corrosive gas because he can't knock me off in one hit. Then he goes timber. I'm like, okay, I corrosive gas. I get rid of that EV light, which is really good. He knock off. He knocks off me, so I get he gets rid of my EV light. So I'm like, hey, let me sludge whip him. He does a decent amount of damage. If I can get the damage on this thing early, that'll be really good. He goes for drain punch, me predicting me to switch out. I go for another sludge wave. There's really good amount of a really good amount of damage. And honestly, like I know my gaslight can take another hit because it's defensive, and I knock out the timber, which is really good early on. All right, so now gas comes, uh, Oddish comes in. He sludge bombs me and he kills me because he, I'm not able to live in without my Evil Light. So see, Oddish, you don't mess with around with Oddish. Then I bring in my Ponyta. Then he goes on the Chin Chow as I go for a flame charge. I should have predicted that. I really should have predicted because I really thought for for a moment there. I know he's gonna go on to Chin Chow. Like I had a really strong feeling in my mind, but I didn't predict it. I should have gone for the stomp, stomping tantrum. So I got on to Cotton, my uh, Cottony. He goes for T-Wave and paralyzes me. Then he goes uh, back out to Oddish, Oddish for obvious reasons, cause like he'll obliterate me with a poison type attack. So then I go on to uh, my boy Slime. I think I need to speed this up a little bit. He goes for Sludge Bomb. I eat that up like a champ. He goes back into Chin Chow. I, I, I just knock up and obliterate this thing. And then he goes Volo B. And then I'm like, okay, he t knocks off, knocks off my EV light. I'm like, okay, let me knock off his EV light as well. And here, he brave birds, and he does so much damage. And here, I decide to curse, which is a really stupid play, because I know, I think Ice Punch without his EV light would have killed in that range. This was a huge choke, a, a ginormous misplay on my part. Let me emphasize that. Huge misplay, and I was like looking on the couch, and uh, it was like looking like, huh, I can eat up an air slash, but this thing, I should have known that this thing can be physical as well. I've like dealt with these things physical before, and they're mostly run physical, but I'm like in the couch, like the automatically like, like when you press Volibee, it automatically gives you a uh, special type set, and I was like, huh, this, this must be a special, uh, a special Volibee, but it wasn't. Braper does a buttload more damage, and I choke. So here I decided to just go for a Shadow Sneak, just to get a tiny bit more damage off. I really wish I Ice Beam there. I really wish I Ice Beam. That is a big misplay on my part. So here I go for Flare Blitz. Didn't want to over predict. Just wanted to hit right what was in front of me, so I go for Flame Charge. Now I switch out into Continue right here. He goes for Head Smash, destroys me. Uh, I'm not sure if the crit mattered, probably not with this thing, this thing's power. So then I go into Pineco, which I probably should have gone to Mistrevis to be honest. So set up Spikes, which honestly, this was like mostly to, I'm not sure why I set up Spikes for. I think it's for when the Oddish comes back in so I can get damage on that because I know Psychic can't take it out. He goes, and now here, here goes for a Sludge Bomb. He gets the poison, which is so unfortunate, but I've got poison hacks before and it's 30%. It's like a Skull Burn, so I wasn't too mad. I'm gonna take a quick sip of water. <sighs> so then I go for Psychic. He goes for Giga Drain, gets health back. Then I take poison damage and then I Psychic one more time, knock him out, but then I get knocked out because of the that talk to damage, which is so unfortunate because I could have hit something one more time. So then he goes Abra, he goes for Psychic. I know I live one, I'm like, okay. I go for Play Rock here because I assumed this thing was gonna be Sash, and then I go for a Quick Attack and knock it out. So this is my thought process right here. Man, you might say, why didn't you go for uh, for Flame Charge? Because like Abra is so commonly run, uh, commonly run like uh, Magic Guard Focus Sash, so like it can come in on rocks and take, it, take at least one hit. And I did not want that, uh, if I like got down to a sash, I probably would have died to recoil. And yeah, so that's why I went over play rough. I knew it was a risk, but it was a risk I probably had to take. And then I could take it out with quick attack. Yeah, I just did not want that recoil damage. So here I go back into Pineco. He goes for knockoff. I probably should have just stayed in, to be honest, but like, as you can see here, uh, I really should have probably just stayed in, but as you can see, uh, I flare blitz. I burn him, which is nice, but he has the berry juice, and I take a little bit of recoil, and he knocks me off, and he wins the game. Big GG to my opponent. He played really well. It was my fault for not 
doing the, I think I played early game kind of well. There's a few predictions like I probably could have made better, like expecting the Chin Chow to come in and stuff like that, but I really, I'm really kicking myself over that Ice Punch play. I really should have Ice Punched there. Let me emphasize that. I really should have Ice Punched. I'm so mad at myself for not Ice Punching on that play. Oh my good golly gosh. Well, that's why we, we live and we learn, right? We live and we learn. I am a stronger, this loss has made me a stronger trainer. Each loss is a win because you learn something new and uh, how you can improve each loss so you can win. <laughs> mm. well, that was gonna be all it for me. Thank you guys very much for watching. This was a close game, but unfortunately we couldn't make it out with a dub, but that is okay because we'll be, we'll, we will, uh, hopefully we can, uh, what was it? Uh, Hopefully we can bounce back, maybe we will, maybe we won't, who knows. <laughs> but I will definitely try my hardest to bounce back, and yeah, that is it from me. Peace out!